Welcome to Health Matters. I'm Amanda Bacon. This has quickly become one of my most favorite programs that we bring you each year. A look at the Capital Area United Way and the many ways it matters to the things that matter most to you. Family, friends, health, safety, the assurance of a brighter future for our kids. What is it that matters to you? It seems this is the time of year we pause more to consider those questions. We'll take a closer look at why it matters today on Health Matters. Well, we have a full house today and we have some fantastic stories to tell. I'm very excited to have um, so many people here to introduce to you today. We'll start with Christina Wee. She is the new, I guess, we'll, we'll still call you new, <laughs> the new Capital Area United Way Executive Director. And Christina, welcome to the program. Thank you for having me. Oh, we're so excited that you're here. Now, I, I use that new term um, a little loosely because <laughs> you have been for several months now in this capacity. Yep, since February 1st, actually. I was wondering the other day, like, when do people stop calling me the new executive director. So I figure a couple years. Right, right. Or maybe does it happen after your first big capital campaign? There you maybe go. There you go. <laughs> well, I think people are generally familiar with the concept um, of United Way, or at least with the name. But let's explain a little bit about how United Way actually works. United Way supports over 20 nonprofit partner agencies, which include over 50 programs. We also run a, a few programs out of our office too, like Girls on the Run, the Imagination Lab, and the classroom grant and the Youth Booster Fund program. So. Right, perfect, perfect. So when we talk about um, the, the places that we're partnering with, let's explain that a little bit. I, if there's one thing I hear when I talk to people about United Way, I get the question about, okay, what does it mean to be a partner agency? Yeah, it's really truly a partnership. What's so unique about this is, you know, we help fund these individuals, we raise money and we give it back to them. But they also help us. We right. partner on different things, you know, like for example, the events that are going on this week, our partner agencies are working really closely together to help solve the crisis and United Way is there to help support them. So, right, right. So there's always a lot of a lot of agencies and a lot of people working together Absolutely. in this community. Absolutely. And I think that's what's so unique about Peer and Fort Peer is that it's such a giving community community and it's people want to help and the partner agencies are there to help folks too and United Way is just there to kind of bring us all together. Mm -hmm. So a lot of what you do is really raise those funds so that these nonprofit agencies can really continue to I guess do the work. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> and that's what's so great is we raise the money and we give it back and what we raise here stays here and that's what's so unique about United Way is that we are really committed to the community here and our partner agencies they'll tell you each time about how much they depend on those United Way funds right. and we've heard a couple times that we are their favorite kind of grant program because it's really we just give them the money and we trust them to do their own programming. So. Right, right. So that's I mean that that builds another layer of of just community support. Absolutely, and trust. absolutely. So wonderful, wonderful. Well, let's talk about, we kind of alluded to it at the beginning, but um, we are now deep in the heart of the, the capital campaign for this year. Talk to me, I guess, a little bit, first of all, about how important this time of year is for you. Yeah, this is a very important time of year. It's our campaign right now, and we have a very exciting campaign this year. We have a goal of $555,000. It's our It Matters campaign, because everything that you do for your community matters. And one single, anything that you do has an enormous impact and it really ripples through. Um, and we've been doing a lot of presentations. I think I'm up to 32 presentations <laughs> since the start of the kickoff. And, and it's really neat because we bring in partner agencies, we bring in our campaign chairs, we bring in our board members, and we really just thank the organizations for the work that they're doing. And they really help us by donating a lot of their funds and their time to United Way. Right. So it's not, I mean, we, we talk about a lot about the funds and, and obviously that's a, a very key component of what we're doing here, but you also rely heavily on volunteers. Absolutely. Our board is an entirely volunteer-led board and they are so vital to our organization. We, I send an email and I get a response back in five seconds. I mean, oh. I've worked in a lot of nonprofits where we've tried to pull our board together and we haven't had much success, but with United Way, it's the exact opposite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're very engaged, right? Very there. engaged board, which is very good for us. Right, right. And, and really come from a cross-section of the community that really helps you kind of pull the community in. Absolutely. The folks on our board, we have people who are dentists, then we have other folks who are therapists, then we also have bankers, insurance folks. So it's really a broad range of individuals. We have state government workers,
workers, you know, and mm -hmm. it's just a, a great board. Right, right. So when we're talking about um, needing to raise those funds, going out and talking to, to the community, where obviously it takes that individual um, at the end who, who is an important piece of that to either, you know, write the check or, or pledge the funds. Um, but it's a lot more than that as well. Yes, and that's what's so unique about United Way is that you can give, you can advocate, you can volunteer. It's it's more than just raising money, you know, and if you can volunteer your time, if you can advocate for your, your community, and that, it really makes a big difference. It really matters. <laughs> right, right, it does. It, it all matters. Let's talk a little bit about um, how people can get involved um, then um, in this campaign. If we're just looking to donate, maybe um, some places do it through their businesses, yep. um, I know. Other places maybe don't have that option. So how do they, how do they contact you and say yeah. they want to be able um, If you guys don't do workplace campaign, if you're a small business, if you're a small business, you should have received a letter from us followed up by a phone call. We also did a business blitz where we went out and visited over 220 businesses in the area. Oh my. Um, yeah, it was a big morning um, and that was unique and so we were able to talk with all these businesses in the community. And another way to do it is hop on our website which is www.capareunitedway.org and you can use your credit card and donate right there. It's very simple, very easy. Um, or you can also just contact our office or stop by and, and just chat with us. We have a lot of folks that do that too. Awesome, awesome. Awesome. Talk to me a little bit about those business partners. How how critical are they to you and, and to this campaign as a whole? They're extremely critical, you know, and it's not just in terms of, of donations. Without our business partners, we wouldn't be successful at United Way. We have folks that help us maintain and create our website. We have folks that help us with our finances. It's just the business community here, we, we couldn't do it without them. So definitely a key, yes, a key factor. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. Well, I want to thank you so much for taking the time to come visit with us yeah. and kind of explain. Um, I think it's always good when we can can just go back and show the community. Okay. Oh yeah. This is what it is, and this is what we're doing um, out there in the community. I think that's fantastic. Yeah. yeah. And I'm looking forward to getting to introduce some of those volunteers that we talked about. Absolutely. A bit. Thank you for letting me be on. Absolutely. <laughs> and these kids aren't complaining. We had a couple of kids say, I really haven't been eating the last month because my mouth hurts too much. And the nurse will say, yeah, and they've actually been losing some weight. They're way less than they did last spring. And you know it's because they, they painful when they eat. Now, now, how do we let a child that lives across the street or beside us remain in pain and not do something about it? In this community, meaning Hughes and Stanley County. We have a great dental need. Even though we have well over 10 dentists in this town, we still have patients that can't afford dental care. We still have patients that have trouble getting here. And those patients need care. And they need love and they need help. And that's where the Caremobile comes in. Girls on the Run is a 10 week after school program that is geared towards girls that are in third through fifth grade, and then Girls on Track is geared towards girls that are in the middle school. And it's an after school program that promotes wellness and it promotes positive self-thinking. And it culminates at the end of the 10 weeks with participating in a 5K, but running the 5K isn't the ultimate goal. Well, I've been in education for almost 40 years now, and comparing students back then and now, there's so much greater risk with students nowadays. And I find out that one of the things that they don't get is an equal opportunity to read. Some students have that opportunity and some don't. And uh, agencies funded by the United Way uh, increase the students' chances of getting that opportunity to catch up with their peers and be successful in today's generation. It absolutely floors me that in Hughes and Stanley County we can have a child's mouth look like a child from a third world country. They have severe dental needs with infections and pain and embarrassment. And the fact that the Caramobile is willing to come in will better that child's life more than we can even know. One thing that I pride myself on is that we have a great giving community here, and I mean the entire area. We 
all work together. Uh, volunteerism is alive and well in Houston, Stanley County. It's something that we've seen greatly over the past three years plus. Uh, it is important to people to make a difference in other people's lives, and we have that opportunity to give through the United Way. I can't say enough about the United Way. I mean, if you saw these little kids and they grab your hand or they give you a hug and say, oh, thanks, and they want to come back. Everybody goes, do they want to go to the dentist? And they want to come back. They want to come back because they don't hurt. They said, I chewed on that side last night and my mouth didn't hurt at all. And you go, oh my gosh. For us doing an hour work, an hour and a half, we got them out of pain. And who would ever inflict pain on a child is beyond me. So the United Way stepped up big time. And it does matter. It matters if you saw these little kids, you'd do, you'd do anything you could for them. Well, we are back now joined by two of those volunteer board members that we were talking with Christina about earlier. We have Ann Schopp and Renee Gallagher here today. Welcome both of you. Thank, Thank you. Program. Awesome. Well, Ann, I'm going to start with you. Talk to me a little bit about how you got involved in United Way. You know, there was another member from the hospital who was leaving the board and asked me if I would be interested in joining. And in my time here in Pierre, I hadn't been on a board yet. And I knew that the United Way was able to serve so many different people in town that I was just very intrigued and, and honored to be asked. Right, right. Now, in your role here at the hospital, mm -hmm. I guess, talk to me, I'm, I'm sure you see a lot of kind of both direct and indirect connections to the United Way and, and the agencies that they work with, even with our patients here. Yeah, there's so many of our patients and even coworkers that are able to benefit from the services that we have here at the hospital, the services that United Way sponsors and the services that our partner agencies provide, they're just invaluable. And you know, they, they help each other. They do a very good job of not providing the same service to the same people. And they, they just do a great job with the amount of money that they have because we all know that it gets less and less right. every year. Right, right. Talk to me a little bit about um, that connection of, of I guess serving with United Way, but also being here um, at Avera. Obviously, we are also strong supporters, you know, of the United Way um, and partners. What does that mean to you? It's just so nice to see people that that do benefit from the things that are provided, and and just how appreciative people can be when they're able to you know, get connected with a program that they didn't know about or didn't know if they qualified or something of that nature. And it, it's just, it's rewarding to be able to maybe steer someone in a direction that they maybe didn't know about. Right, right. Talk to me a little bit about some of the programs that, that you know, I know one that we just uh, saw a little bit about in the video, but is Girls on the Run. Yeah. Um, you are very involved with that program. Talk to me a little bit about how those work. Yeah, there, there's a few, what we call kind of special programs that aren't through a partner agency, but they're ones that we feel very passionate about mm -hmm. at the United Way. And we have made it our mission to help sponsor these programs. And one of them is Girls on the Run, a program for elementary and middle school girls. And it's, it's meant to help boost self-esteem, be aware of what's out there in media and just different things like that. It helps the girls work together. And they run a 5K, but that's not the goal. The goal is, is what they learn in the process. Mm -hmm. And other programs that we have are Imagination Library, which gets books in the hands of kids. Any kid from birth to kindergarten, every month they get a book in the mail. And wow. it's just $30 to sponsor a child with that. Cool. So that's an amazing program. And we have our Youth Booster Funds, and then we also have school mini grants that we have made a commitment to donate to each of the schools in our Capital Area United Way um, communities right. and we know how much teachers and educators dig out of their own pocket and we just 
want to do what we can to, to help them and show that we support them. Right, right. Very cool. Yeah. Well, I tell you one of the, the most awesome things that, that I've learned about United Way, just in, even in the last several months, um, is not only your commitment to youth in our community, but your commitment to having them involved. Yes. Um, and Renee Gallagher is one of the youth board members. Mm -hmm. um, so. Uh, talk to me a little bit about what led you to be involved in United Way. Growing up in Peer, I've been involved in certain, like programs that the United Way has sponsored and helped with, such as Girls on the Run and the Discovery Center and things of that nature. And so then I've just always had an interest in what the United Way does. So it seemed kind of like a natural next step. Yeah. Awesome. Tell me again what grade you're in. I am a junior okay. at TF Riggs. Okay, and you are one of four youth members. Correct. Okay, perfect. Talk to me a little bit. I, I can't imagine, you know, I, I'm trying to think back to when I was in high school. This was not something that would have even been on my radar. Yeah. Um, you know, how, how, what was the reaction from your friends when you got involved in something like this? And how can you share what the United Way is doing with them? They thought it was pretty cool how I had like full voting rights and in a, such a big board as United Way. And, yeah. right. So really a full, I mean, you guys mm -hmm. are full members of the board and you yeah. can bring a different perspective. Mm -hmm. We can bring a whole different perspective. Mm -hmm. Do you find that often a lot that you get turns to in the room and say, hey, what, what does this look like from your angle? <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. I do. Good. Good, awesome. Talk to me a little bit about getting your, getting your friends involved. Do they, mm -hmm. How, how is that going? Well, such as being on the United Way, then I learned about other programs and how they you can like volunteer with them. And so I brought some of my friends to partner agencies volunteering. Awesome. So really leading by example mm -hmm. and getting, yeah. those, getting those other students involved. Yeah. I think that's fantastic. I just find that to be one of the most exciting things about what we have going on here, really grow, growing the future mm -hmm. of of this board um, and just teaching teaching by example I just I think it's phenomenal so I'm so glad that you're here Renee and thank you and we won't tell anyone that you got out of school to come okay here. <laughs> oh wait maybe we just did <laughs> so no we are so happy that both of you could be here um, to talk to us today and just give us give us a perspective of you know what it is that we're doing out in the community the so so many ways and um, that United Way touches our lives and um, in the so many different ways that it matters just like you were saying mm -hmm. you know the volunteering with the youth in the community, um, it's not just what it's not just the check that, that you're asking people to write. You're at really asking people mm -hmm. just to be involved. So wonderful. Thank you. Thanks, Amanda. We all have something to give. Time, talent, resources of all kinds. Giving something is what matters, and it all matters. If you'd like more information on the It Matters campaign, or if you'd simply like to see this program again, you can find us online at oahitv.com. Just select the Health Matters link. Of course, you'll also find us online at social media, Facebook and Twitter as well. Just look for and like us, and go ahead and share this program. And from all of us here at Vera St. Mary's, remember, take care of yourself because your health matters.